I'm Chris Martin, a professor of journalism and digital media at the University of Northern Iowa. And I'm Bettina Fabos. I'm a professor of interactive digital studies at the University of Northern Iowa. And Chris and I have been co-authors of Media and Culture for a long time. It's the second edition of the textbook. And so this project is near and dear to our hearts and our work as media researchers. For this digital update for Media and Culture, the 13th edition, we've decided to do a deep dive into two big issues in the digital world. Artificial intelligence. And social media and mental health. First, artificial intelligence, or AI. We begin telling the story about Jeffrey Hinton. He was a guy in Britain in the 1960s, and all he wanted to do was learn about how the brain works. And he jumped around from major to major, and he finally settled on psychology. And today, he is known for his work with computers because he ultimately used computers to model how the brain works as a network of neurons. And the idea was to provide the computer with lots and lots of information, and then have the computer detect patterns, which imitates the way that humans learn. One of the early examples of success is when researchers fed thousands of cat photos into a language learning network. Eventually, the system learned how to recognize a cat. The long whiskers, the curve of the tail, the upside down triangle nose. When the computer network could then identify a cat in a new photo, it demonstrated artificial intelligence. It knew what a cat looked like. Today, Hinton, now in his 70s, is known as the godfather of AI. The rest of the module talks about opportunities of AI, some of which we already are using, like opening a phone with Face ID or a Google Maps giving you an alternate route to avoid a traffic jam. And then there are the minor problems. AI can get things wrong. It fosters cheating. It undermines copyright. It substitutes relationships with real human beings, like when your best friend is a chatbot. And then there are the major problems presented by AI. It's really good at spreading disinformation. It can destroy economic sectors. And worst of all, some scholars have warned AI could destroy humanity itself. It sounds like science fiction, but now it's possible. So that's why we need to talk about and teach about AI. We have developed this critical process so that students become empowered to take control of AI so it doesn't take control of them. And we are getting students to experiment with search prompts with ChatGPT and with BARD and to consider the advantages and disadvantages of AI. So that's a quick preview of the new AI module. We are really excited about the new digital modules for media and culture. Thank you.